Hi, thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and safety, strobe lighting and emergency equipment for cars, vans, SUVs, buses, trucks, boats, and even some trains. What we have here is brand new Ford Transit, the little baby Transit, mama's little soccer van, or a nice small utility van like this one, wide open in the back. This particular van is used to fly big drones to do aerial surveillance so the back is wide open and they needed some warning for when they're on the roadway flying their drone via their virtual reality helmets or tablets or whatever they use to fly those drones they're going to be in the van and chasing the drone so we've set them up with a bunch of warning as you can see right now this is the flood option we're flooding our razors our thin x our wicked stick and our led haw in the back this build features two razors in amber white on the front grille, two Lin 6 in amber on the front grille, our Thin X LIN series in amber white on the sail panels on the front of the doors, as well as our 23 inch Wayland mini bar, hard wire permanent mount in all amber on the roof, and a six head wicked stick on the back roof, as well as a set of white. Eco Haw and a set of Amber Eco Haw on the back of this. You can see there we've turned our flood mode off and we simply activated the front light bar switch on our Mini 6 control panel, also featured on this bill. It also has pattern selection for the front light bar or the rear wicked stick independently, so you can select the patterns for both of these lights as the user sees fit, slow down the pattern for a more calm warning or increase it for a more radical powerful warning. The other switch we have is set up to do their amber on corner warning. Basically we have our amber Lin 6 in a split pattern on a lower bumper. We have our razor amber whites on the front grill. We have our Thin X firing an amber only pattern on the sail pattern pad panels on the side of the door and our amber LED HAWs in the back. That's all ran off of one switch and then when we hit an additional switch it will add white to the slick stick and add a set of white LED HAW in the rear. I did this because I wanted to give him an option to have no white other than the two in the grill and then he could add the white in if he needed it. So for instance when he turns on the slick stick in the rear right now you can see by the reflection on the door there that it's all amber. So he can have his front light bar, his rear wicked stick, and most all of his corners running all amber. And the only white in this mode is the two whites on the top of the grill there from our razor, which forward facing white is never really a big deal. It's when you get the white facing the rear that you might want to have it on a separate switch, which is exactly what we did here. I'm just showing you this like this. Uh, I'm going to spin it around and show you, but this way is a little easier to see because the lights are extremely bright. You can definitely tell by the reflection what's going on. Now you can see I've hit the white switch, which adds white color into the wicked stick and adds a white set of hideaways in the reverse below the wicked stick. Pumps up the rear warning, gives a much more powerful amber and white combo facing the rear. But again, if he's in a situation where he'd like to run only the amber, we can turn off the white switch and go back to running only the amber. Our flood mode also incorporates the wicked stick in the back as well as those white hideaways. So one touch of the flood button in any mode, strobes on or off, will bring the flood white in the razors in the top of the grill, the flood white on the sail panel thin X's, the flood white on the wicked stick six head, as well as the flood white on the LED HAW in reverse. And it'll work with or without the warning activated. Now, if you happen to have the warning activated, you'll see that the lower bumper Lin 6s are still firing in amber, giving you some front warning. And the rear LED HAW is also still firing in amber. So we don't lose all of our warning. We still have front and rear warning, as well as independent control over that front facing Wayland mini light bar. So we can always turn that on or off as needed and continue with either the lower amber warning or all of the amber warning you see here. And when the flood mode is turned off and the white switch is turned off, 
We have all amber to the rear, the slick stick, the hideaways, the mini light bar in the roof, as well as amber to the sides with just a touch of white towards the front, as I mentioned earlier. Let me spin it around, show you the back. Alrighty, so out back here, as I said, we've got our six head wicked stick mounted high on the roof, right towards the back. We've also got our amber LED HAWs going, and you can't really see the sail panel in front of that side view mirror there. This would be with the amber switch illuminated, and this would be with the added white switch illuminated. You can see we've X-patterned the white and amber hideaways in the taillights and parking light portion of the tail light in the back and you can also see the extra white that's going in the wicked stick there let me try to get you a little better view all right so i darkened the camera up quite a bit and show you a little bit more of that white and amber alternation in the wicked stick in person it's very prevalent and present it's just hard to pick it up on the camera being so bright it washes it out you can also see on the right hand side there are white and amber white is on the bottom and amber is on the top as far as our hideaways are going and they're set to do an x pattern in a real nice aggressive alternation that is our eco led haw in the back there as well as our wicked stick six head and in front of that you can see peeking out also the Wayland 23 inch permanent mount let me show you the flood white to the rear and how much light it's actually producing all right so as you see the back of our shop there never mind uh, the next build coming up brand new explorer but uh, right now the vehicle is in warning mode i'm going to turn off the shop lighting you can see everything's going crazy here i'm going to turn off the warning mode right now now we're in a totally dark shop i'm going to turn on the flood mode that's the flood mode for the Wicked 6 stick and the LED HAW. Flood mode off, flood mode back on. You can see the camera darken up quite a bit when it initially goes on. The real flood mode is somewhat similar to that in the shop. Camera darkens down when it sees a bright light. As you can see, filling up the shop quite nicely. Definitely more than enough light to adequately light a five car driveway. Uh, more than enough for a two car garage.